personal expression. Yeah. Yes, the one and only Mr. Anurag Kashyap. So much love for Bombay. Which Today's podcast, I think, is a sort of progress report. And we'll see you next time. Alright, welcome, welcome back to Main Street. We are here for a video that's been anticipated for the longest time from a lot of people in our little audience. But also something that I've wanted to do for the longest time, man. Harsh, it's nice to finally have you here. Yeah, I'm gonna about to file a lawsuit for harassment, <laughs> <laughs> suing Main Street for harassing me. You manage your collection better. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, uh, I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, I'm a very private person, so it's very difficult for me to yeah. to like talk about um, these things that matter so much, especially yeah. like sneakers. Yeah, like things that matter. I just I always like to just be a bit isolated and secluded. Yeah, even I when know, man. Yeah, comes to exclusive that. Making movies or whatever, like you know how passionate I am about curating. I know. Yeah. I remember we first when we first met. It was with the white off white Nike Vapor Maxes, yeah. and there was half a closet here of right. shoes, and it's almost I almost tear up <laughs> talking about this. It's like I've seen this child <laughs> yeah. grow in like a short span of time right in front of my eyes, and I've seen, and I've, it's it's awesome, man. It's I mean, what made you go zero to a hundred when it came to shoes? So I always uh, really cared about the clothes I wore uh, yeah. from a young age. So mm-hmm. I I didn't have the exposure in my teens like a lot of us. Mm-hmm. Um, even though I was always very influenced creatively by the West, you know, in terms yeah. of like music movies, and I mainly stuck to Converse's and Vans. Yeah. Uh, when I was growing up, also it was you know like a, just like a lack of access, and I was never a big basketball fan. So you gotta clear this up. What is lack of access? No, lack of access is like. When you're 12, 13, 14, if you you know you're not growing up in the states, you're not playing ball, you're not skateboarding yourself. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So like, oh, you don't think about it. You don't yeah, see like, it. Not, like, not, not about yeah, like Michael Jordan is in, a, in like a big part of your culture. True. Like Tony Hawk is in a big part True. of your culture. True. And so they were two like you know icons skate culture, that time. basketball culture played so much in sneakers. Exactly, exactly. So when I was 13 or 14, we didn't have that. Yeah. You know, uh, and so I I really liked like my Converse's and Vans and stuff. And then obviously as I kind of grew up and then. You know, uh, Anand obviously came into uh, like Sonam's yeah. life and like my life, and then yeah. he he actually gifted me my. He first came into the whole of like India's sneakers yeah. in his life, dude. <laughs> exactly. You know, so so basically, I he like, gifted you your first which ones? He this? he gifted me the um, the Yeezy three fifty V two all uh, the green stripe. Oh wow! Okay. It's the and, life uh, shoe. Yeah. It's actually a great story. Is that's not the first shoe he bought me. Actually, that's the second shoe he bought me. The first shoe he bought me was. The 2015 uh, Chicago Air Jordan One High. Oh wow! Yeah, uh, oh, I've seen this. Yeah, it's there. It's right behind. Oh wow! It's on the Jordan Wall. It's Jordan. The wall. Jordan Wall part of a lot more we might see. Yeah, we'll show you some. If the, we'll the some. sneaker collection comes out soon, anyway. Huh? But uh, yeah, so no, so that was the first shoe he bought me, and he didn't tell me he bought it from Stadium Goods, mm-hmm. uh, and then he came and had a conversation, and I wasn't really into Jays at that time. Um, so I was like, you know, you know, I'm not really into basketball. I don't wear too many Jordans, and my style is a bit more skater and you yeah. know all of that. So then he got me the Yeezys, and they were just such a comfortable shoe. Yeah. Because I always loved the Ultra Boost. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then I started getting into hype, and this was about I think 2014, 15. Yeah. Um, you know, and then started building sl- slowly from there. That was there. very slow. Yeah, and then it just. 2017 was that? 2018 is when we met. 2018 or 17 2018, was it? 2018. 18, 2018 18 is when we met with the uh, Off Whites. I remember. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then that I think that's when it like. That's when you got really into really it. Into what, it what, really do you remember what shoe it was? I mean, I think I think for like a lot of us, the ten has had a massive impact. Yeah, because um, it was right around this time when it was growing in India. Yeah, because that's what was hype. I don't know for you also. Was, was, so was the ten? You'd say. It, I think the ten was a was a big part of it. But honestly, I've always just been a really big fan of Kanye. Not, I mean, I don't really listen to that kind of music too much. You know me. Yeah. You know, I listen to a lot more like electronic and ambient yeah. music, but. Like you know Justin, for example, I don't really listen too much to his music, but, but I think it's a style. It, yeah, like I'm, I think Kanye is a genius. Yeah. So I, I think he his cuts, his fits are incredible. Love, you love. know, so I love everything he makes. You know, yeah. so I really like the whole Yeezy line. And when we yeah. say Yeezy line, people immediately just think, think of three fifty V two. Yeah, that's just a extremely minuscule part yeah. of what Kanye West. Like, I think that's know. so like underrated. Like he's wearing a, 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 a Yeezy hoodie, Yeezy hoodie, and, hoodie. And, and like, I think that's my favorite part. Dude. That's my and favorite that's the stuff part. That's the stuff with Vedant, I really like. Yeah, I think that's you know, what we actually. I don't know finding yeah. a common ground with stuff like this you know like I think this like the 750s and stuff are the um, some of the most beautiful shoes the beautiful shoes the nicest part of 
Yeah. Nice is part of the Yeezy sneaker line, honestly. Yeah. Have you seen 900s, 950s? Yeah, like all of those shoes. Those shoes, I think, are incredible. so killer. They're just not as hyped, you know, and they're not as... Because I think the 350v2 based on the Ultra Boost is such yeah. an accessible silhouette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that's why I think it it's is. Kanye's whole, like, military inspiration when, like, the 950s, they were, like, yeah. the generally, like, military boots. Even the, the, the season one collection with, like, so the camo trench the coats. The, ten, and the one that tanked, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tank. yeah, yeah. Because it's the costs and, you know, but incredible uh, stuff. stuff. So, I, you know, I really like that kind of like part of what he does. And mm. uh, so I was, I was always a big fan. So I bought the shoes, about the clothes and it kind of started from there. And then yeah. Virgil did some incredible things with Nike. I don't, I don't know what you're saying. You, you want to get all 10. I wanted to get all 10. And then we slowly, slowly pair by pair by pair. Yeah. You know. I got to actually I'm, thank uh, Shashwat. <laughs> Le Shash because he uh, he ended up buying a lot of pairs for me from Goat and yeah. then I paid him uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. because Goat you find incredible deals yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, so I was in London and I I, I bought the Hyperdunks locally and I got I the Converse locally Converses like, yeah. from presented by they gifted me a pair of Converse <laughs> I remember this I was so bad yeah you were like dude I really want the Converse but they're like 1200 pounds oh the fuck <laughs> And then they three days later, he like, dude, present it. I just gifted it. That was very sweet. And then, but then after that, so then I got some from London. I, I got some from America. Mm. And like, you know that I really hustle for my pairs. Yeah, man. that's my favorite. But this is something that, you know, like, you know, this is a big misconception. Everybody sees you as, you know, yeah. this keeps happening. You just come for money. It's like, dude, yeah. you just see a pair, buy, buy, buy. But I haven't seen, I, I honestly don't think I've seen anybody hustle more for their pairs than I've yeah. seen you. I mean, that's the biggest reason that I'm like really reluctant to, to like come out and like talk to people yeah. as well just because I feel like there's so many preconceived notions yeah. uh, so which is why you know I'm a very like low-key guy yeah. <laughs> and I have a very like happy existence happy go lucky you know so I like to space. like be I'm quiet yeah. you know make my movies the way that I want them to make, do and dress the way that I want and yeah. hang out with my friends and yeah, you yeah. know so I, I don't really like too much attention Yeah. Um, um, so I was reluctant but then you know uh, we've been wanting to do it for so much time so I thought might as well might just as well. Let, let's clear that up yeah, yeah so yeah. When I say this, like, hustle for it, like, a lot of people might not even understand. But it's basically, when I wanted to find out, when I was going to the U.S., I wanted to see more people who sell stuff in the U.S. Right. The one place I knew I would find the most, like, Instagram pages selling sneakers was your following list, dude. Yeah. I went through and I found, like, 150 pages. Mm. That means you're following, you're checking who's dropping which good deals, and you scoop at the... I, haven't, I don't think I've seen a single pair of shoes here, which has been paid full market overpriced, value for. Overpriced. Yeah. Or, like, overpriced for. Yeah. Which is, like, even we sell way above market. Right? Yeah. So in India, getting pairs, like, is hard. market, hard. Yeah, yeah. But then I've also seen you make so many good deals. Yeah, I mean, I, stuff for such good price. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a it's a full time, like passion, no, passion, it's like a full time you know, hobby, like it's a you, hobby. Exactly, like yeah. like for example, I'm eyeing like I always have like I have most of my collection li- saved on my goat. Yeah, app, I know, I know, I've seen it. Uh, like sixty, seventy percent of yeah. it, and then I have all my wants saved. Yeah. You know, so yeah, like what I do is I I'm very methodical about it. Is I make a list. I'm like these are the next three or four shoes I that I should aim at, and then I do not pull the trigger until and something else something something pops up. So at this up, point, you know? it's almost even like funding itself. For the mean? most part. What do you mean? Like where you bought something at X value, mm. now you want something else that's two X, you sell X for two X, and then. <coughs> buy yeah, it. I mean, I for a lot of stuff. I like I feel like a lot of the stuff that I have now I, I don't really want to sell too much of it I, I, I think for me the whole the really the joy of being a sneakerhead is it's it's so mood dependent in terms of like I wake up one day and I want to wear something else you know like yeah. what is my mood today like I'm going to build my outfit from like I'm going to think of a piece of outerwear yeah. like tomorrow I'm going to wear <clears throat> Uh, a denim jacket, easy season six, distressed yeah, because it's nice out, it's cool out, yeah, I can wear yeah, it. Yeah. And then I plan the outfit around that. Yeah. Or I'm like, you know, man, I I haven't worn that pair of shoes for such a yeah. really, like a long time, and yeah. let me go to build an outfit around it. And yeah. I think that's the joy is having several options, being lucky enough to have those yeah, options. That privilege. That privilege to to kind yeah. of do that. And so, uh, you know, I, yeah, I like. I think having this country it. has a big problem with demonizing privilege. Yeah, I mean that's a different. I mean, it's like you gotta. Yeah, I guess it's just you know whatever you have. It's why 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 you gotta make. No reason to shit on someone for having it. Yeah, I mean, I think everybody should just, I mean, try and happily coexist and, you Yeah, know. I mean, you've got to be grateful for what you have. Of course. As long yeah. as you are at school, avoid, like, that whole thing. I hate that whole... Thing. Yeah, I mean, I just think that judgment of anything without knowing full fact... And most times, you, knowing full fact you know, is rare. Is rare, is, is a bit, like, discrimination in, in, completely fair. in a way, so... I mean, I know I've spent so much time here. I have, like, a negligibly sized sneaker collection. Of course, jealous here and there. But then, you know, for me, it's more about, like, it's inspiring. Like, I mean, I want to, like, you know, whenever I want to buy whatever the fuck I want to buy, I'm going to get it. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it, it is what it is. And, and I think the people that really know me uh, 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 know what I'm about. 
Yeah. As a person, and yeah. and and that's all I can. Yeah, I know because I knew for like a while before like we we started getting to know each other. I mean, mm. I, there was a there's like a whole wall. Yeah, yeah. I really, really like really close to that. I want to now jump into uh, talking more about the the brands. Right. I want. Let's start, start with Drew right now. One of your favorites. Right now, your favorite. Yeah, like like I said, you know, I've I've never really been too into like pop. Because like as soon as you say like Drew House, people think you're only buying the clothes Justin because Bieber. it's Justin. But in fact, not even a lot of people know in India. But Drew House was his band with uh, what is his name? Ryan, Ryan Good. Yeah. Ryan Good and uh, Justin did it together. Ryan and Justin d- d- doing it together and. Um, I just have always been a fan of like that Amer- American suburban skater aesthetic. I love the way, I've always loved it. Before, way before Drew, I loved yeah. the way Justin dresses. I mean, we've talked I about mean, some it. Some of his coolest fits with the Red Octobers and his blue Lambo. Remember yeah. when he was wearing with the, the Supreme, Supreme Armband. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I love that fit. Like, I think, I think because, I, I mean, he's basically a guy from Canada that likes to sing and skate. You know, I mean, yeah. you take away the whole... Uh, uh, like Justin, Justin Bieber, Bieber like the, the you yeah, know and and I think the like Drew House is based on I think uh, emotional memories that he has of his childhood and growing up and like yeah. skating and like that's where the corduroy and like yeah, the yeah, oversized yeah, and I then he, the you know that's where that kind of comes from and he also likes the same brands that we like he likes Amiri yeah. he loves Fear Jerry Lorenzo God, yeah, so Jerry, you know you a can, lot of Fear of God came through people like Justin, Justin. Like, so you know Justin wore a lot of Jerry he he he's very inspired and we love what fear of god does so much yeah, that's the next thing we're talking about so so a lot i think a lot of that inspiration finds its way into drew house yeah uh, but it's priced extremely well as you know yeah uh, like t-shirts are like 40 dollars hoodies are like yeah. 80 dollars and the yeah. the quality is super it's good it's almost like a well priced anti social yeah. social club exactly and uh, well built and and, and i just love the way uh, you know i love how soft the hoodies are i love how i, li- I like i really like oversized clothes as yeah, well I know. and um, so i just it just works with me i really like it, you know, yeah. so I'm, I'm buying a lot of Drew right now. I love, love, love. Drew. Yeah. Next, uh, dude, Fear of God, man. Fear of God, yeah. I think Fear of God really encapsulates um, what like this whole culture really is about because it's not. Most times you can't tell from the outside. Right. That is Fear of God. Yeah. Like with a lot of the cool stuff. Like yeah. Even the really expensive stuff. Like yeah. Very plain. Yeah. It's and that's why that's why I really love. Like it's about you knowing what you're wearing. Yeah, it it's is. About, and it's about the clothes only. It's not about. So th- how it fits, yeah. how it feels on the inside. I think with Fear of God, the materials are incredible. It's beautiful. It's all made like, or is it only Fear of God? Like the OG land is all made, yeah. especially in that like, one factory in LA, right? I mean, you see the, the videos. I've that seen, yeah, and so it's, cool. it's, it's, it, a lot of it is inspired by like, like, Carhartt, or like just yeah. that whole American kind yeah, of the like working, the working class, the working and class you know, with your with your like your heavy weighted uh, pants and like your style, your suede jackets, so cool. and and I think he's married that classic American. Yeah, uh, and he's made it like cool culture right? into like yeah. contemporary streetwear, you know. So he's made it like it's, it's like so high fashion. I think with him, with people like John Elliott, with the you know, when, with John Elliott is when sweatpants became like high fashion. Yeah, yeah, but. And it's just so rare that something with such plain materials would become so high. Yeah, but it's because of the fits and the cuts. Yeah. You know, he, the guy, he knows really like what he's doing and uh, yeah. uh, he's he's amazing. And like even like the essentials line is yeah, what even we the wear. Is how, yeah, it's, like know. My, it's the only stuff that I actually like buy from my own store. You like know. almost none of it goes to sale because <laughs> you I'm eat like all of it up. It's getting high of your own I get such good prices out there. Like, yeah. an <laughs> like I'm an okay. essentials hoarder. Same. You know, I love, I, I love essentials. essentials. Uh, no, so Jerry, like Fear of God, I love, and um, I love Amiri, Amiri as, as well. Amiri and, next. And, Amiri and, and I'm also pants. like not one of those guys. Like you know, a lot of people call me like. Oh, you know, like everybody's wearing this now. So, like, I used to. I'm like, I don't care if everybody's wearing it. I don't think. I mean, it's not that hype right now. No, but I'm like off white, for example. Like, I still love. It it doesn't matter to me. You know, it doesn't matter to me how trendy something becomes because I'm not too affected. I don't. I never care too much about what people think. You know, because if I I've seen that, dude. Because you have some really like lame shoes. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, you have a lot of shit that I couldn't. Like, I'm like, ugh. Why does he have that? Why do you like? Why would like the the bloody where, where is the Amiri jacket, dude? Which one? The Amiri, the, the, it's, the it's, Amiri jacket. It's coming. It's <laughs> coming tonight. It's coming. It's Kunal got it. Kunal got it. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, the other stuff that you think about. I'm, that's like that, I want to pull this up. I want to pull up this one, like this Amiri jacket. <laughs> that I was like, why would you like? I think that's what I was like. Okay, this dude, like, it's just supposed to. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think you know. I think that's a that's a that's a a, a continuous trend with me. Like a lot of people don't understand why I like what I like and why I, I do mean, what you know, I do. Yeah, for a lot of stuff, it's like okay, you want the classics, right? With the a lot of stuff is like you want 
the classics. You wanted the OG Chicago's. You wanted the OG Breads. It's yeah. All that. And then there's some things which I just will never understand. Yeah, I mean, but I, I don't know. I'm, I'm a bit weird like that. I like, like I have different moods and different styles and, you know. How would you? Okay, how many? Some of your favorite like style icons? Who would you pick? Um, three. Let's do three. Favorite style icons. It's a tricky one, man. Um, I think Kanye for sure. Kanye. Um, I think Jerry. Jerry and then Justin. I don't know. Um, no, no, Justin's up there. I think I don't. I don't know who else. Let me think. Like Rocky, like ASAP Rocky. No, it's too. That's a bit like that's too a bit too loud and a bit too yeah. rapper for me. Like even Travis Scott, like it's I wouldn't Travis, dress like that. I like Travis. Like I see, I would like it's yeah. too like uh, he's yeah. it's too. You loud know the jewelry as much, but I, lo- I, lo- I love I love what yours is with like his super skinny like build. I love but no, but that's how he my, uses his clothing yeah. to bring it out. But I mean, I don't really, I don't really uh, uh, get into that too much. But I would say Kanye. I would say Jerry. And mm, someone in India, maybe, maybe like Ryan Gosling, man. Ryan Gosling, but just because of he like the the or, or even actually Shia think, LaBeouf. No, Shia LaBeouf, but again, that's very street. I think Brad Pitt as Brad well. Pitt. Is, ah, yeah, he takes he has a lot of classy stuff. And I'm saying like Brad Pitt for like from like the 90s and early 2000s and yeah. stuff. You know, he's just so many iconic images of Brad Pitt. Mm-hmm. Uh, like just like very underdressed, you know, like mm. simplistic. And I think I have that side to me too. It's just that. Yeah. I don't feel like there's enough opportunity for me to dress like that in the society that I kind of live in, you know. And uh, because like, I where am I going to put on a Tom Ford suit and go here? (laughs) It's not going to happen, you know. Yeah. What about like formals? I do like I I if if I like didn't live if I lived um, somewhere else, you know, like I would probably dress. Probably like because of obviously we live in tropical conditions as well. It's hard to layer. It's hard to layer and, and stuff. But I love my suits, man. Formal I I, I love like I love formal wear. Yeah, um, yeah same. When I was a kid, that was the only thing that I liked. Yeah, <laughs> I was like the super lame like twelve year old who loved wearing. You're suits. still the super lame twelve year old. <laughs> I'm fifteen now. <laughs> I'm not twelve anymore. <laughs> Twenty. Anyway, yeah. So there's um. So the AC yeah. I think we deal with it. Huh? What are you saying? Huh, next thing I want to talk about was uh, okay. how do you see it trans? How, how how did the family take to your uh, passion for the family's so always much? been into like fashion yeah. and so much Sonam and dad dad now wearing a lot more yeah dad's wearing a lot of my a lot of the pairs from here how does that work though does he ask you for recommendations do you, do you style them or does he no just he come just he has a stylist hmm. uh, so she comes depending on all the outfits <laughs> she comes and picks pick shoes take shoes sometimes he picks shoes himself sometimes yeah. I recommend some shoes yeah. people are people are noticing every now and then so I was like oh dude he was wearing like on that couple shows the other day yeah, yeah. Like, oh, Travis Lodge yeah, yeah Travis Lodge Travis Lodge Okay, this is gonna be a really, really, really tough question. Though. Okay. Top five sneakers in your closet. Uh, red. The world Octobers. is coming to an end. You can only say five. Red Everything o- else is burning to the ground. Okay. Red Octobers, uh, Fragments, uh, Tokyo Fives. Oh, that was quick. There's some big trail shoes. Uh, That's how you take a little longer. Red o- Red Octobers, Fragments, Tokyo Fives. Uh, what else is like really ridiculous that I have? Plats. Plat, pure plats. But you can't have two AE series. Some of the OG dunks? Oh, you haven't gotten many yet. No, I do. What dunks do I have? I mean, not, none of the like the OG ones. The Supreme dunks are really nice. I have, uh, I would say uh, maybe the Supreme Black Cement dunks. Fair God. I would Actually, I would say Supreme Black Cement dunks. Supreme dunks. Dunk. So, what do we have? We have Red Octobers. Red Octobers. Um, Tokyo Fives. Tokyo Frags. Fives. Frags. Sup- Frags a second. Then we have Supreme Dunk Low. Dunk Lows. And Plats. Plats, sure you have two AEZ yeah, ones. Oh, AEZ ones then. AEZ ones. Or Tan, yeah. super nice. No, I think you have Tan. Tan is your sneaker with a bandage on it. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. <laughs> Cause fours are pretty dope Cause as well. Are, you, you like the cause. But how I, you, how do you respond to this kind of press? <laughs> Every now and then we'll see like articles. Dude, I, 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 when I first became an actor, I, I used to like Google myself and all, but then I was like, this is just a pointless exercise. Yeah. Uh, which is why I don't, I barely do any press. I, I don't like, because that's why all my, the interaction that you see is on my social media, because I have complete creative control of what I say all the images yeah. that I put out and I don't I, I trust myself you know so that's true I know that's why I really like I like I appreciate you doing this mm. uh, it's gonna be cool now the audience has for the longest time been asking to see the whole collection yeah. if this video and gets uh, 120k hits and if you all follow Vedant Lamba and me on Instagram <laughs> uh, we might we'll do the whole we, collection we might show you we'll do the whole the collection pairs. I honestly don't want to do a collection tour for two reasons and I, I, because one people are just gonna be like 
uh, you so know, much. your privilege, your entitled. Yeah. And then two, <laughs> because I, I genuinely feel like I don't have a collection worth showing. I seriously, like, I feel like I have a long way to go. Of course, but... Uh, to, to, you know. <coughs> that's... Uh, that's where... I still feel there's enough. Yeah. It's too much to cover in one video. <laughs> we'll, we'll do one video only. Yeah, we, oh, yeah, we could break it up, but... See, we'll do one concise, fun... Uh, slice the video about... Yeah, but this is fun building. What is your favorite cop? My favorite cop? Hmm... You know, it's just, it's so crazy when you ask me. It's so difficult to think. Um, so I have two pairs of all the Off-White Jordans. Yeah. Uh, I have two Chicago's, two UNC's yeah. and two EU's. So I actually got one set. Uh, I remember that, yeah. For a really, 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 really good price. Yeah. Uh, all shoes in great condition from a really, really amazing yeah. seller. Um, because when you end up doing bundles yeah. and people want to get rid of inventory, you have a much better chance of yeah, yeah, scaling down the cost. Yeah. Um, so I think that's probably for value, yeah. my best piece of business. Favorite, most exciting cop. Recently, I'd say maybe the uh, Frags? Yeah, I think Frags. Recently, frags the Frags. Was a, frags was a gift from Sonom. Yeah. Um, incredible. Probably one of the best gifts. The best gift <laughs> that I've ever got. Uh, incredible gift. But yeah, man, these off-white dunks are cool. We got the whole set, yeah. um, which is pretty dope. And uh, MCAs were a really great, really, uh, great call. How do you like the new ones, MCA blues with the black uh, Outsole. midsole? Yeah, um, I, I prefer the all blue ones. Yeah, much nicer. I prefer the all blue ones. Okay, this is my favorite part about you as a sneakerhead is you're completely okay with the concept of buying used shoes. Yeah, yeah. And completely. clothing. Yeah. And I love how you're so open about why, how long do you think, how far do you think we are from like overcoming this whole stigma? Because I, I, it's it's so annoying. Right? I I think the whole concept of use is so fantastic. It yeah. gives sneakers its second life. Right. It's so good for the environment. Yeah. It makes it financially more accessible to so yeah. many people. Yeah. Yeah. It's just such an, it's such a great part of especially this whole sneaker culture. So one of my favorite parts about it. It's a yeah. rotation bit. How far do you think we are from overcoming that stigma? I don't know because uh, you know you always I, I see for for me personally even with like autumn like cars for example like personally I think that it's pretty pointless buying a new car exactly yeah. especially with shoes right yeah. first hand to second hand is like a 40% depreciation a second yeah. to third is I like mean, I do have, I do buy a lot of dead stock shoes I mean you're looking at yeah. uh, uh, three pairs no, no it's, not, it's not that you only buy used it's that you know when yeah. you see a good deal you have yeah. no problem it's not It's not a hang up that, yeah. that my whole I have nothing especially against yeah. brand new what I'm not fond of is the hang up that I'm constantly yeah. dealing with people like for example like um, uh, my frags were like a 9 on 10 mm -hmm. so like one handful yeah. of times yeah. and even though they would give you had no like you're not even remotely like I'm saying, like, offended I'm like, about it right? yeah like I'm saying like uh, I'm not going to spend $5,000 on a brand new pair of rags yeah. because I'm going to wear them I, I don't yeah. buy my shoes to sell them yeah, you yeah. know how reluctant I am to get rid of my pairs <laughs> like literally you have to like you know really convince Push. me to get, get rid of my pairs <laughs> I don't want to get rid Steal. of my pairs yeah exactly so like just I just take them around I want to every collect shoe in this collection yeah. in my you know every shoe that I own has been bought to be worn and yeah. it's been bought to I be worn that. multiple times yeah, as soon as most times they go straight on feet dude like I have I wear like my Chicago off-whites to the gym to like different <laughs> I, I like because for me it's like if I'm buying it if I'm in the mood to wear it I'm gonna wear it yeah, you know what I'm saying you can't take I, that I away hate from that me. whole uh, yeah like I'm gonna keep it in a box and like the yeah, wrapping paper like dude relax it's <laughs> wear it, <laughs> it's wear it, you know it, like wear it it's a shoe so, made to wear so like I, I, I if you, you've accepted that, like you're buying your shoes to wear, yeah. that's th then if you're getting a dead stock pair of shoes for a great price that's within your price range and you can afford it and you don't mind spending that kind of money, yeah. which I've done on a, on a multiple lot, occasions, yeah. do it. But if, you, if you're getting a great, great deal on a used pair in phenomenal condition, you know it's legit, you've checked What's it out. What's the problem? The only thing I have against that is a hang up. Yeah. So I see so many people with something that in like apparel, like, so very often they're like, oh, I don't buy. Like, like I, I really don't like talking you? about like price rates and money and I hate doing that, especially on a public platform. But just to like give the viewers an idea, like the off-white EU Jordan 1 got a UK 8. Literally the guy wore it once to a party and then never wore it again. You know this pair. Yeah. Uh, OG all laces, zip tie, everything for like 80,000 bucks yeah. uh, in like 2018. I remember I was in Switzerland for the Swiss premiere of Bhagavad Yeah, Shoshi, I remember this. And Shashwat was calling me. He's like, dude, like the pair is 83,000. I'm like, yo, out of your mind. There's no way I'm paying that. Yeah. And then I realized like, dude, like if I don't get this pair, if I don't get this now, 
I don't know. I don't know. I, remember, I remember the text. We said I pulled the trigger. I don't please. know what's going to happen exactly, and then yeah. I just pulled the trigger, and that shoe used is worth, uh, in my opinion, about two lakhs. And we're selling it that much. You now. know exactly. And, and this is one of my favorites. I tell this so so often. Yeah. The guy who bought it before you also he bought it for seventy. Yeah. Bought it once and then sold for eighty. Eighty three. Yeah. And now that eighty three is going for two lakhs. Two lakhs. It's it's it's. Like, it's dude, this is this is basically the stock market, but on cocaine, and it is, not it enough is. people know about it, which, which is, is why we are profiting which off is, which of it is good so for much. You know. I mean, I'm a, I'm a collector hmm. so i'm not like into like selling pairs but like i benefit in the in in like for example if like you know man lamba i like i really like this I, this new thing is coming out and yeah. i like, really want it or like i found like a pair of supreme orange dunk highs yeah, yeah, yeah. to complete my set for like $800 and i i don't want to dig into my reserves yeah. So let's get rid of something. Yeah, get rid and of we something. Do, we do all the time. We do that all the time. I you know, a great example of this is when we did that with the with the seven. You wanted the seven fifty chocolates that yeah, we had in stock, example. and you got rid of like I think it was like ten small items that were actually nonsense that you didn't care about. Yeah, and we got you the pair you of like this shoe. I've wanted this shoe for like three years. It's a beautiful shoe. Uh, you know, it's a stunning shoe, and uh, I love this. Again, you got it worn like twice. OG all yeah, like, way below market value. And I've tell. worn this twice since. Um, it's still in such excellent So like I literally Gave him a pair of shoes That I would never ever wear In my life Yeah it was like It was like two or three Like shoes that you wouldn't ever wear It was like four or five t-shirts Exactly Yeah it was just junk And and those also went For like one third Of the actual market price Price. Which made so many people happy I was was like Wow this is such an excellent exchange Everybody's happy So like Main Street makes money The people get Get Better clothes to wear You get a cool shoe That you want Everybody wins you know I was like This is is, is, These are the things That are so fulfilling About being in this space 100% And And um, I've like the thing with me is I'm really like I remember every like I remember I wore this shoe I was wearing black Eric Emanuel sweatpants and a black hoodie yeah, yeah, I, know I remember what I did on that day so like <laughs> I associate my fits with to the, what happened that day the, yeah, you know yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like I'm very attached to <laughs> to what uh, you wear to what I wear you yeah. know and, and I think it's it's representative yeah. of your mood yeah. and, you Who's, know. whose sneaker closet in the industry do you think is if not competitive whose sneaker closet do you respect Ranbir Ranbir, yeah, for sure. I think Ranbir is that's someone whose closet we should definitely take a look he, at. He, you should if you if you get the chance to. I'd love to see. I think he's been a collector for a long time, and I I don't know if he buys as much. Yeah, but I think he buys Grails. Yeah, he's uh, we've seen him wearing the frags. Yeah, he's buying frags. He's also got the Spike Lee Jordan ones, yeah. I believe. Yeah, uh, that are very hard to come by. And uh, yeah, I think so. I think I think Ranbir's is is a closet that I'd I'd like yeah. to see locally. Yeah. You know? Anyone else? Um, uh, who else? Who else is like a sneakerhead? Abhishek. Yeah, Abhishek. I think Abhishek, Abhishek has a lot of like Jordan threes and fours. Yeah, you know, and 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 I I love threes and fours, but yeah. but I think my I think like Ranbir has a lot of ones. You know how much yeah. I like ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you <laughs> I, know, I love ones. Ones are my favorite silhouette. silhouette yeah. I'm actually right now focused all my energy into getting eighty fives. Yeah. So I know the Air Jordan one first came out in nineteen eighty five. Yeah. They had the Chicago colorway, the Brett colorway, the UNC colorway. They had yeah. metallic red, metallic orange. So. Yeah. Extremely difficult pairs to find, or guys, obviously, because they're like forty years old, yeah. thirty-five years old. Yeah. So a lot of them are crumbling. But what's beautiful about that shoe is, as it gets older, it looks better. Yeah. And a lot of them have sole that swaps, so they're very, leather is like, you know, they're very nice wearable. Over time. I really like yeah. the paint chipping off, yeah. and it really goes. Yeah. With See, this is another thing. Like, this industry even makes like the trade of so many leather products almost ethical. Like, yeah. Me being vegan, like I'm completely against most things being yeah. leather. Yeah. So for that, for the environmental. Benefit the fact that these are going owner to owner. You're not mm. contributing to the produ- more of a production of leather. And 2006 on, I think Nike stopped using real leather even. Okay. So even these kind of like OG shoes that might even have been made from real animal leather is almost ethical because it's going from owner to owner. It's like recycling plastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So man, it's this is cool. Thank you for doing this, man. This is fantastic. Course. Yeah. Uh, again, if we hit 120k views ASAP, we got to see the whole collection. Yeah, and go watch Bhavesh Joshi. It's on Netflix. <laughs> watch Bhavesh Joshi. It's on Netflix. If you haven't already. And, uh, and yeah, loads of loads of uh, stuff coming your way in 2021. 20. Loads of stuff being shot in 2020. 2020. Uh, if you liked Bhavesh Joshi, and you know what I'm about, you 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 guys. I hope you guys will like all of these things that I'm, I'm sure about. everyone will like. And best of luck for all the upcoming films. I'm so excited cool. to see uh, the collection grow. To see the the uh, entire films the collection of your films grow yeah your vinyl collection grow all collections yeah, yeah. and your whole cinema real good and uh, yeah I think that's about it thank you for watching this video make sure to like comment subscribe uh, follow all of us on Instagram links are all over subscribe to the channel watch Bahavesh on Netflix and uh, we'll see you next one peace
this. Okay, so where we are right now is our new and first ever brick and mortar store here in Bombay. It's gonna be absolutely incredible. We've got a whole tour and a whole different video about that coming later. But if you enjoyed that video, make sure to follow us on Instagram to stay tuned to what's coming here and the other videos that are coming later. So subscribe to the channel. But that's about it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, like I said. And uh, yeah, that's all. See you in the next one.